I'm going to survive for the next seven days alone in the wild with only a map, a knife, and my camera gear. Now I'm in this side of the forest and my goal is to walk 100 miles in the other side of the forest. There is no paved path. <laughs> Where is I'm supposed to go? I have to break these things by myself. I'm not gonna lie guys, it's kind of scary. Anything can happen in this forest. So I found this bottle and I can store water inside. I will put it in my backpack. My goal now is to find water. I think I found the river. Let's see if this is the river. This. Oh my god. I can drink some water here. So cold. This is in the middle of the winter, which is extremely cold. Ah, I have no water, so I have to rely on this river. A hundred miles is not a job. To put it in perspective, it will take me a hundred miles to cross my whole country. And what makes it harder here is that there is mountains everywhere. So I have to go up and down all the time, which it makes 10 times harder. So probably we're three miles in, another 97 to go. So today I have a lot of energy because I ate food before we started. So I want to get a lot of miles done today. I'm in the middle of the forest by myself and I don't know where I'm going. Look at this place. I have to find something similar to sleep during the night. Oh my god. My biggest fear in life is snakes. And this is snake skin. I will definitely not sleep here tonight. There is bears in this mountain as well. I hope I don't see anything. As you can see there, guys, the sun is going down and the night is upon us. In less than an hour, the sun will go down. This looks scary, I'm not gonna lie, guys. After five hours, I started understanding the map. <laughs> now it's darker, it's harder for me to identify the location that I have to go. I brought a light, so you are able to see me in the night. Oh, this is my shelter, guys, for the night. So this is the entrance of my cave. We have here some wood. This is perfect shelter. This is my bed for the night. I put a lot of leaves inside so I don't get the temperature of the ground that is cold and I'm warm in the night. In my pocket I have gloves and this so I can cover my face and be warm in the night. Guys, look what I found. A huge spider. I will not kill you but promise me you are not going to bite me in the night. It's kind of scary, huh? Imagine being alone here. Imagine being in my position. With this shelter, I think I will be able to sleep without a fire. I also don't know how to make a fire without a light. Lol. Today we did 8 miles. It's time for sleep. So it's 6 a.m. in the morning. I cannot sleep because it's super cold. Goodbye shelter. You served me well. Good sleep is the most important thing in survival. Oh my god, the sun. It's warming me. Oh. This is day two. We have another 92 miles to go. One very important thing is water. I need to find water ASAP. Guess what I found? Water. This will give me a lot of energy. Oh my god, it feels so good. I gained my powers back! I think I found where we are. I have a secret, guys. In the other side of the forest, my best friend in life is waiting for me. My name is Nick. With food, water to pick me up. I met him three years ago in the Navy SEAL school in Cyprus. And we became best friends from the army. And then we started traveling the world together and we lived so many experiences together. We are partners in crime. We did similar survival challenges like this and to see him now do the seven days thing, it's almost as it was meant to be. This is one of the most difficult trails in the United States. I'm following the trail, but there is no sign that I'm in the right trail. Alone in the wild. So far we did 20 miles, another 80 to go. Not bridge. I guess I'm going this way. So the sun is going down, as you can see, again. These things are really helpful. Without them, I was not going to make it. Sometimes I have illusions. Because you see so many trees, I think that they are humans. I think I found a cave for me to sleep. It will be freezing cold. 
I decided that I will not use this cave and I will try to find a better one. Faster, faster, faster. Phidias is definitely different from a lot of us because he enjoys it. He's the most persistent person I know. I have zero experience in hiking and my body is in pain now. I barely can see the trail. That's why I wish the best of luck for him and his YouTube journey. And I'm sure you love him as well. Show him some support because this guy is the most dedicated person I've ever known. Mab is saying that I'm getting closer to a campground and I'm not sure what exactly is. So I'm going to go and check it out. Oh my God, there is a fire there. Hey, can I come there? Okay, I'm coming. Hello guys. Hello. This is the campfire? Yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of campgrounds. Oh my god, um, they gave me food, they gave me water. I'm the happiest man alive. Does anybody have a lighter that he can give me? Yeah, I got one. Yes! I found a lighter that I can light up a fire the next day. Thank you so much. Restroom. I can sleep in this toilet. Oh my god, that's perfect. Also, they gave me a blanket for the night. I was freezing with the blanket and without the blanket because the temperature at night dropped to minus 3 degrees Celsius. Goodbye toilet, you served me well. Day three. This might seem easy to you, but it was one of the hardest things I did in my whole life. I was walking up and down the mountain from sunrise to sunset with barely any sleep due to the freezing night. 54 miles left. Most of this trail is not that beautiful, but there is some hidden gems inside it. This rock, oh my god. This is the most beautiful part of the trail so far. Because I like it so much, I will stop and sit for a bit here. I was getting comfortable and I was like, oh, I have to walk another five miles today. This is a perfect spot for me to stay in the night, but we have one problem. It's not night. This is no easy task because he's out there with no service, no food, no water, and anything can happen. So because I'm vegetarian, I cannot hunt animals as in this challenge. And I have to eat plants because the life of the animal for me is worth more than the taste. I found this small waterfall. Maybe it's good time for me to shower. Ah, it's cold. I do cold showers every other day, but I always hate it before. We have no time to lose back to the trail. The end of this forest is one very beautiful lake. You cannot imagine how excited I am to go to that lake. This is day three. I wonder what he does now. I'm really looking forward to seeing him alive, hopefully. Look at this thing. It's probably for hunters to see it and kill animals. Whoops, tree. Ladies and gentlemen, finally 50 miles! Halfway through! I have to cross it. Phidias, wherever you are, it's important to enjoy the little things in life. I'm sure you're also experiencing a beautiful sunset. Oh my god, look at the sun, how beautiful. Oh my god. Heaven is a place on earth. This green forest reminds me of my country. I left a couple of months ago with the dream of becoming a YouTuber. Found very cool friends and they helped me become a YouTuber. I'm fighting for a United States visa and it takes a long time. And it's frustrating that I cannot go back and see them. I miss my family a lot. Oh my god. The sun is about to go down. I started running because I started to worry because I have to find a shelter ASAP. Right now I imagine Phidias maybe finding a rock to sleep under. I think I can turn it into a good shelter. Or maybe he went up in a tree. Needs a lot of building. The sun is going down. I have to do it very fast. I collected a lot of wood for the fire tonight. Here, I will light up a fire. I did all these things because sleep matters a lot in this survival situation. If I don't get good sleep, I will not be able to function tomorrow. It's super cold, it's time for me to open a fire. Even with a lighter, I couldn't light a fire. Oh my God, I don't know how to open a fire. I finally figured it out. So relaxed now. It was so cold that I was trying to get as close as I could to the fire and this happened. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Accidentally, I just burned my shoe. Hopefully it's not more difficult to walk like that. 
day four. The fire did good job. I had a good sleep. And now back to the trail. Day four. Today the goal is to go for 32 miles. It's like a witch forest. I think it started raining. Oh my god, this is the last thing I want. If it rains, then I'm fucked. I found this sign and I think it's a viewpoint. But I have to walk extra two miles to go. And I don't know what to do. I'm trying to live a life without regret. So if I don't go there, I will feel regret. So I'm choosing to go and walk extra two and a half miles. Oh my god, look what I found. <laughs> wow! Look at this bad boy forest. I could stay all day here, but unfortunately I have to keep moving so we get a lot of money. I love this place. I'm so happy that I came. I'm struggling in this challenge. Every little thing makes me happy. It is what it is. The show must go on. Well, 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 44 miles left. I found this here and I'm going to take it with me tonight to light up a fire. 60 done, 40 to go. Basically, this sign says it's very dangerous to go this side and they close the section of the trail. But I don't care, let's see. I want to find out what is dangerous about this. Here is the trail, but they put green things. So I'm going to follow the green things. It's getting darker and I have no idea where I am, I'm lost. Those green things, they brought me nowhere. And it started raining. Oh my God. It's scary. I will make a shelter here, sleep, and figure out tomorrow what I'm going to do. Bro, I'm waiting for you here. Hopefully you're here by the morning because I don't want to come looking for you in the forest. I found this place. I think it will be perfect for shelter. It started raining outside and I put all the woods in there. I think I will survive. So guys, I've known Fidelius for a long time. His actual name is Fifi. So if you want to call him that from now on, that's fine. So I'm about to go to sleep. I'm super tired. Now it's day five and we have a huge problem. The weather is not with us. Everywhere there is fog. I'm not excited, but you know what I'm excited? To see my best friend Nick in day seven. Another 37 miles to go. Let's go, let's go! 32! Look at this beautiful mirror. Mirror. <laughs> River. The weather doesn't look good. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I can literally fit inside. But we have to go. 28. 27. 25. I'm starving, guys. Hopefully I find a person in the trail and I will ask him immediately if he have any food to give me. 24 miles. Is this the real? Oh my God, people. Started raining. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. I didn't eat food for two days now. Yeah. Do you have anything for me to eat? You make mashed potatoes. It's Sausage, it's perfectly fine. But I'm vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They helped me so much, they gave me so much food. They told me that tonight is going to be heavy rain. That's not good. So I came and found this kind of cave. And I will try to build a shelter here. It's raining so hard, there is a lot of lightnings. Hopefully I stay safe here. Oh my god! This night was the worst night out of all. I couldn't sleep because of the lightning storm and it was so cold that I think I got in the early stages of hypothermia. Today is the sun finally came up. Day six. I'm looking forward to see my friend Nick and go home, shower, and eat food. Good morning. Yesterday it rained, so I'm sure he did not have a good time. Back to the road. Now we are at mile 23. My goal today is to go to mile seven. That was amazing. The most tiring part is that I'm going up the mountain, down the river. 16 miles left. Another 10 miles left. Okay. Ah. 
me. Oh sh damn wet. Ah. Today is day six. The sun is going down, and I will keep walking. Hopefully, I meet my friend by midnight. This is the lake that we'll be finishing out. You cannot see because it's dark, but seven miles left. Tonight midnight, it will be technically day seven. I want to leave, I want to go home. I don't want to stay another night in this forest. I will not sleep. I have five miles left. Four miles left. Three miles left. There is a big river. I have to get my shoes wet. This is going to be the last struggle, probably. I have only two miles left. Okay, okay, okay. Get the closer. Oh God. I think this is the this car. So I saw a flashing light in the distance giving me signals. It might be him. Oh my God! Big, I made it! Oh my God! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my God, I made it! I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Watch this video that I spent seven days in an island. Bye!